rain shower in the Amazon. Right before our very first hike. This is the noise we hear all night. I know you can't see anything, but you can sure hear it. We're now approaching the hammock room. The Tawaiya Lodge. You want a little R&R? &R? Come in here. Just outside the Tawaya River. Here's our backyard. That means it's breakfast time. Bang the drum. This is our room. We have one double bed and two single beds. As you can see, there's netting everywhere to keep the bugs out. At night, we close these covers here. No privacy. And we actually have a private bathroom. It's a little dark, but this is the living room. Everybody's at breakfast. <laughs> we have arrived at the research center. Here we are at the research center. We are further up the river, maybe it's down the river, but there is more wildlife in this area. So I'm happy that we booked uh, three nights here. It has that Gilligan's Island feel, that summer camp feel. Let's check out our room, number 11. This one does not have a private bathroom, it is a shared bathroom and shower. Hi, this is Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and I finally made it to the Amazon. Uh, we're in the Peruvian Amazon. I've been putting off this trip for many years, and the reason is anti-malaria pills. About 15 years ago, I had a really bad side effect, or side effects, from a pill called Larium, or Methylquine, I believe it's called, and 20% of people who take it had the worst side effects, and I was one of those. So back then I said, I'd rather have malaria than take the pills again. So that's why I haven't come to the Amazon, and then when I made a few phone calls, I found out that you don't need anti-malaria pills here because the malaria mosquitoes are about 50 to 100 miles away, uh, as well as yellow fever. So I think roughly 20% of people still take the pills here, but it's not necessary. So one thing we do as precaution, as you can see, covered head to toe, uh, pants, mostly shirts, and yeah, as I was saying, this is a great hat. The flaps in the back uh, prevents a rear attack from the mosquitoes or any other bugs. And sunglasses, and of course sunscreen, you want 100% DEET. And basically, you know, the body is less of a target when it's covered like this. So yes, it's hot and very humid. It is like a sauna here in the Amazon. Um, but, you know, you get used to it, I think. So anyways, I finally got the 
take off uh, the Amazon off my bucket list, check it off. Uh, but so far, uh, this is a pretty cool trip. Um, saw different kinds of monkeys, sloth, macaws. We're going to be actually looking for uh, anaconda in about an hour on a boat ride. Hola amigos. All right, I'm here with Christian, our excellent guide for the last six days. And you've been at the uh, Tawaya Lodge for how long? Ten years. Ten years. Ten so years. why did you decide to work here? Because it's one of the best uh, tour operation companies and I can have um, also a great different variety of activities that we can do for all our guests and depending, you know, because we can customize and then according also to the season we can give different uh, expertise to our clients. Yeah, I gotta say, the, one of the great things about this lodge is when you get here, you just, uh, you're assigned a private guide and you just tell them what you want to see and it's just you and the guide for as many yeah, days exactly. as you're here. It's awesome. And, uh, you know, we, we saw a lot of wildlife, so we stayed here at Tawaya Lodge as well as the uh, Amazon Research Center. Yeah. And there's a little more wildlife over there. So, I think you would agree with this. My recommendation would be, uh, if, you're gonna, if you want to see wildlife, you have to spend at least a week here. At least a week. At least yeah, a week. Right. Because every day, it takes, it takes a while to see everything, and every day you're going to see something new. If you're only here a couple of days, you could, like, the first couple of days we didn't see a lot, but then starting day three, we saw a lot more after that. Yeah, right. So I would definitely say, some people are, are staying here for two weeks, some for a month. Yeah. So that's the best way if you really want to see all the wildlife. But uh, it's been a great experience, even though there's, it's been like 90 degrees, 90% 90 plus humidity every day. Uh, we're wearing long pants, hat to keep out the mosquitoes and the bugs. So we've been sweating our noogies off. Uh, it's quite hot, and there's and it's only the showers are only cold water. Only cold right? water, no hot water. No hot yeah, water, so which is probably hard. which is probably a good thing. Um, and it, you know you are roughing it. There's no there's no in the rooms. There's no fans. There's no air conditioning. So it can get you know a little uh, toasty, a little uh, humid. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it's like a sauna. You can, you can adapt it in the first yes, two yes, days, yeah, yeah. Third days can be easy. Yeah, so so, so says he. I don't know about that, but anyway, okay. it, it, so the, the thing I love about this is you know we did we did morning, noon, and night hikes, boat rides. We did a canoe ride, went fishing for piranha. Uh, it was just an awesome experience. So uh, I just want to say to Christian, mucho gracias, amigo, okay. and uh, we'll I see you next you, time. Uh, appreciate this tour in the Amazon, and yes, hopefully you will be come back. Yes, to Weyla Lodge. Okay, see you next time. Thank you. All right.